Where's the pro? Where's the pro? I got you covered. How are y'all doing? What a day for Nintendo fans. Nintendo has officially revealed, announced the Nintendo Switch Mini, which is now called the Nintendo Switch Lite. Boy, great marketing move by Nintendo. The last time Nintendo had a handheld device where its predecessor shot it into the stratosphere was the DS and the DS Lite, bro. That's what sold me on getting a DS. Once I saw that light with that new Super Mario uh, Brothers U, no, it wasn't you, it was just new Super Mario Brothers. I picked up a DS Lite day one. I still remember walking into Toys R Us and getting me that light. And so, Switch Lite has been officially announced. We're gonna talk about it more in a second. I'm gonna share my final thoughts on everything. We've gotten more information on the product, but, that's not what this video is about. Did I tell y'all to give this video a thumbs up? Before I say anything else, bro, we're going to get this video over 500 likes, bro. The last one we got, I think it's over 800 right now. 500 likes, bro. All right. With the light being announced, a lot of dudes are like, what happened to the rumors? We said we we're getting a light and an upgraded model of our current switch well lo and behold a new filing by the federal commissions have been discovered and it is a class 2 permission change involving a new processor and new flash storage chips for the nintendo switch now <coughs> This um, type of filing allows Nintendo to not have to worry about having an all new SKU, an all new um, revision, complete overhaul of the Switch model. They're able to make upgrades to the current model of the Switch, just like all the leaks and rumors said that there were two models because Nintendo's president, Doug Bowser, Dougie boy, to the Dougie, come to the Dougie, to the Dougie. Hey, he was interviewed by I think CNET, and he said the Switch Lite is the only new piece of hardware coming out for Nintendo this year, and so this new filing marks a loophole in Doug Bowser's statement. One or two things could happen. We could just have the light come out September 20th as a launch day says, and we still have the alternate, the, the switch that we currently have. Or, and, and, the, and the, this filing um, is, will be applicable in, in the spring and we get a new um, switch in the spring. Willem, just subscribe, but I'm recording. Um, <coughs> and we get a new switch, this new, filing switch in the spring or is Nintendo about to silently phase out the current switch and have this upgraded switch just on store shelves that they don't have they don't have to announce it as a new SKU they could sneak in the new processor I think Nintendo needs to name this something, a, a, a Switch Plus or something. It could more than likely, you go in, in the mall, Black Friday to get a Switch, <coughs> and you end up buying the Switch with the new processor on the inside. Now, this is the details of this Federal Commission's filing on this Switch. This could be, Nintendo could still call this the Switch Pro, we don't know, but, it says it's going to have a change to the SOC type system on a chip. That's cool. 
It's going to be a change to uh, the NAND memory type. CPU board is going to be changed as well. Now, I really don't see this. Just like the rumor said, it's going to be a slight upgrade to the current Switch model. And it looks like the <coughs> that's what we're going to be getting. I heard that Nintendo is targeting um, smoother frames possibly, faster load times, and faster load times in between games. Bro, playing Crash Bandicoot, it's a minute. Um, Crash, uh, Crash Team Racing, it takes a minute before you can get into a game. So that'll be cool. We'll have to see, bro. I think the only way we're going to know, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to be able to know if, we still, if we're still just rebuying the same model or we're buying a slight upgraded Switch. Time will tell, but it's interesting, interesting. And so I have to say, after the reveal of the Switch Lite, which looks cool, it looks cool, but I said to myself, maybe we're not going to get any other um, models of the Switch um, anytime soon, but based on this filing, we could be getting an upgraded version of the Switch sometime soon, sooner than we think. Um, it could be fall, or I'm leaning Nintendo, probably going to just chill out and spring, I just probably announce a Switch Plus. Or we don't know a Switch XL. We don't know what Nintendo's gonna call it. If anything, if anything, um, this is what the specifically this is coming from the Verge, and they're suggesting that this updated chip on this new Switch will lead to fewer slowdowns. I'm thinking when they say fewer slowdowns, frame rate drops, faster load times, longer battery life, less heat. Or possibly even none of the above. <laughs> they say, or possibly even none of the above. It could be all of this, or it could be nothing. <laughs> that was lame, but it is. It is confirmed that there is going to be a change to the system on the chip, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a, there's going to be different internals. There's going to the inside of the um, this new switch is going to be different. The plot thickens in Nintendo Land, and so. Um, it looks like we're still going to, the rumors are true, we're going to get two Switch models. And like the rumors said that the, um, this new Switch is going to be very similar to the current Switch that we have. And we're getting a cheaper version, which is the Switch Lite. I have to say this, man. Watching the trailer and how Nintendo revealed this, just put a smile on my face. Now, <laughs> am I going to keep my current Switch? Yes. Because I play my Switch primarily docked. This isn't really for me. I have five kids. Wife is pregnant. We're about to have six. But I might pick up the yellow one for my daughter or something. But not for me, for me, I'm sticking with this bad boy. But it looks cool. It looks cool. Nintendo nailed the marketing, man. Their commercials, the, the advertising, the trailer, how they did it, just put a smiley face. And I told you, dudes, Nintendo's not going to do a Nintendo Direct. They're just going to drop a tra uh, trailer from out of nowhere. And that's just what they did. That's what they did with the, um, the reveal of the new 3DS XL. And they're doing the same thing with the Switch. This way, the momentum just keeps going. The Switch has been killing the charts every single month. Best piece of hardware, bro. The Switch Lite is going to sell like crazy uh, this holiday season, this holiday season. They should call it Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch List. Like they did the 2DS. You know, it's a 3DS, but no 3D. <laughs> now you can't even switch this. But um, it looks cool, looks cool. What do you guys think about the new Switch? Not just the Switch Lite. Which it looks cool, even though it's not for me. I'm sticking with my current Switch. I'm still gonna buy it, but I'm, this is gonna be the Switch I primarily primarily game on. Um, and what do you think about this? The Switch Pro still living. Interesting to see what this um, new filing um, turns out to be. We're getting an upgraded Switch model. It's coming, dudes. All right. Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy oh, 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 why
like Carlton in this video? I bet you've been wondering all this time, why does he have Carlton dancing? What does that have to do with anything? Because the Switch Pro is still coming, bro. We're keeping hope alive. Keeping hope alive. Keeping hope alive.